to achieve high yields of tomatoes and have quality and healthy fruit, proper cultivation is really necessary, which doesn't just mean planting the plant and giving it some water. More attention must be paid to the growth and the development of the plant, and in addition to the general ones, specific care measures and timely protection of tomatoes against diseases, pests and weeds must be carried out. General measures of care include inter-row processing, irrigation and covering, while specific measures include tying the tomatoes, taking off the stems, decapitation, supplementary fertilization and mulching. On our channel you have all the tips on growing various fruits and vegetables, so if you like it, follow the channel, like and share with others. Planted tomatoes will easily accept transplantation whether the seedling was plucked from the nursery or it is a well-grown seedling from a container with roots. When after 10 days the plant is well rooted and has gained height, it is the right moment to provide support for it. Tomato, as is already known, does not have a tree that can maintain itself, so if it were to spread on the ground, it could easily become infected with blight. Also in this way the fruits can easily rot, and the plant of tomato can take root anywhere on the ground. Then a small and pretty useless jungle is created. Tomato tying is applied to tall varieties, in order to create an upright tree which can support the weight of the plant itself and a large amount of fruit. The most common way of tying tomatoes in the greenhouse is with a string. The lower part of the stem is tied with a string, loosely in a knot, while the top of the string is tied to the construction of the greenhouse or the construction you created outdoors. Also plastic clips can be found for this purpose, which we also use in our garden. In this case, the twine is lightly wrapped around the plastic clip and tighten so that they don't fall off. The clip is then placed around the stem of the tomato. The twine should be lightly wrapped around the plant of tomato and then tied to the structure. During the growing season, the plant is wrapped around the string every 5 to 10 days. A rule is that you should do it under the following flowering branch, so that the flowers are not damaged or they don't fall off. If necessary, the plant should be tied in certain places so that over time it doesn't fall down the rope under the weight of the plant. Since the plant also needs to be regularly wrapped around the rope or twine, it is very important to leave excess twine at the top when tying the twine, so that it can be released in case of need, so it doesn't tighten the plant too much. In this way, an upright tree will be created, which can support the weight of the plant itself and a large amount of fruit one of which can sometimes weigh one kilogram. In addition to the described method, tomatoes can be tied to a wooden stake or plastic rods and in the form of trellis. You simply tie a twine or a dedicated twine around the plant and thus attach it to the support. In this way you divide the development of the plant and tie it as it grows. In this case also it is best to tie the twine above the leaf so that it cannot fall down the stem and below the flower branch so as not to damage it. If this measure of care was not performed, the tomato would spread over the land and could easily be infected with blight and other diseases.
Pinching or removing excess green mass is a mandatory care measure for tall varieties from the moment of planting. Sepals are lateral branches that appear in the axils of the leaf of the main stem. Depriving nutrients created by the process of photosynthesis, the seeds grow, develop and bear fruit, but the fruits are much smaller and in smaller quantities, which is not the goal of the production. Stoppers should be removed in a timely manner as soon as they reach a length of 4 to 5 centimeters. You have to be really careful with this last spike because it is visible under the flower branch and the tip that continues to grow in height is above the flower branch. In the event that the stem grows, it is not cut off because large wounds are made on the stem, which are the most convenient way for pathogens to penetrate, but the top is simply torn off. If this procedure is carried out in an adequate way, the plant becomes healthy and fruitful, and the fruits are juicy and tasty. On low, that is determinate varieties of tomatoes, there are zappers, but they do not affect the production, so they are removed only under the first flowering branch for a better aeration of the plant itself. Tall varieties can be grown on one tree, which achieves earlier ripening and bigger fruits, but on two, when the ripening is later, the fruits are smaller, but the total yield is higher. When growing on two trees, it is necessary to leave the first root below the first flowering branch, and if you want a third tree, most often with semi-tall varieties. Then, leave the first root above the first flowering branch. The next step is the breaking of tops, that is decapitation, in tall varieties. It is done depending on the time of production, all in order to regulate the growth of the plant and the number of harvests. In spring-summer production, the top of the tree is pruned in mid-May, when the plant develops 8 to 10 blooms, and in autumn, at the beginning of October, after 4 to 6 blooms. As a rule, the top is cut so that 2 to 3 leaves remain above the last flowering branch. With all types of tomatoes during the entire growing season, it is necessary to remove leaves damaged by diseases and pests, as well as those that turn yellow and die. The leaves are removed when the fruits ripen and at the beginning of the harvest, when the leaves begin to turn yellow and lose their function. Supplemental fertilization is a frequently applied measure, especially during winter production and in years with a large number of cloudy days. One of the methods of supplementary fertilization is the daily shaking of the plants, manually or using special vibrators, in order to break the pollen sac and fertilize the pistil. In recent years, trained bees or bumblebees have been used in the production of tomatoes in a protected area, which are brought into the building in small hives, three hives on 1,000 square meters. A topic that we have talked about a lot and a method we often use is mulching. Mulching the land during tomato production is often applied and in a protected area it gives very good results. For this purpose, organic and unorganic mulch is used. Organic mulch includes mulching the land with straw, compost, sawdust, while unorganic includes colored films and agritextile. 
Both of these types of mulch lead to an increase in soil temperature, prevention of weed growth, reduction in the number of waterings, which achieve favorable microclimate conditions, and thus better plant growth, earlier harvest and higher yields. If you want to support our work and the effort we put in, follow our channel. If you like the videos, leave us a like or share them on social networks so that they can be helpful to other people. We are always here for you for any questions, so leave us a comment or just write where you follow us from and the ways you grow your plants.